to discuss what needs to be done. I'm now joined by a Zoom by the environmentalist, activist and writer George Monbiot and here in studio by the IFA president, Tim Cullinan. Welcome to you both. George, let me start with you. Given what we've witnessed this week, do you think that will help change opinion and perspectives on climate change? Well, I hope so, because people like me, we've been warning and warning and warning and we've been ignored We've been mocked, we've been vilified. We were right, but there's precisely zero satisfaction in saying so. We need drastic, immediate change now. We've left it too late for anything else. We have to change the economic system. I mean, in this country, George, there's a big emphasis on agriculture and how agriculture needs to cut its emissions. And I know it's an, it's an issue you feel very strongly about. You've said that agriculture is arguably the most destructive industry on earth. Explain, and, and do you still believe that, George? It's by far and away the greatest cause of habitat destruction, the greatest cause of wildlife loss, the greatest cause of extinction, greatest cause of soil loss, greatest source of freshwater use. It's one of the greatest causes of climate breakdown, um, bigger than transport, um, one of the primary causes of water pollution and of air pollution. So it's right at the top. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say land use, the biggest issue of all. It's by far and away the greatest um, um, uh, form of land use that, that humans um, inflict on the planet, which means all that land is land which can't be used for wild ecosystems. And while obviously we need farming, we need to minimise those impacts. We, we need um, to act as drastically within that sector as any other sector to prevent the collapse of our life support systems. And what that means above all else is getting out of livestock farming, is really shutting down animal farming altogether because that has massively disproportionate impacts on the living planet. And we need to switch towards other sources of food, plant-based diets, which are far more efficient, far lower environmental impacts, but also switch out of farming altogether to produce protein-rich foods, which we can do through precision fermentation, brewing George, microbes. I can hear farmers all over the small country of ours shocked and perhaps screaming at their televisions because they're saying, are you saying all animal farming, in, in, in your opinion, really needs to stop? Yes, it does. It really does. Um, it's a bit like leaving fossil fuels in the ground. Unless we do that, we've really got very little chance indeed of preventing this domino effect of system collapse right across Earth okay. systems, which basically makes the planet uninhabitable. So eating meat and milk and eggs is an indulgence we cannot afford. It's an indulgence. George, I assume, would you accept that it's, it's a process? This, this won't happen overnight. And when you hear what Tim is saying, that obviously he's representing his members, but that farmers are trying to do their best to limit their emissions. This is the way the world ends with the exceptionalism of special interests. Every industry saying, well, we can't go far that, that far. We, don't, we can't go as far as is needed. Farming is saying that, the airlines are saying that. Road transport is saying that, the fossil fuel industry is saying that, everybody is saying somebody else needs to act, but not us. We all need now to take drastic and immediate change. This is an emergency. And, you know, it's as if, um, you know, in the approach to the Second World War, uh, we were to say, um, well, you know, um, we're not going to go and fight. Somebody else needs to do that. And everybody says somebody else needs to do it. And, you know, we know what the result would have been. And George... This is uh, Sorry, this, George, this I was just the, going the to say... Drastic... Go on, George, go on. Well, it, it, it's the greatest existential crisis that humanity has ever faced, and yet we are still talking about it as if it's just an ordinary political issue which needs to be dealt with in due course, medium term, long term. No, sorry, this is happening right now. We're seeing the impacts of climate breakdown happen right now. And while we were hit hard by a couple of days of extreme heat in England, there are people to the south of us, um, uh, particularly in, in the Middle East, in Sub-Saharan Africa, in South Asia, who have been killed in tens of thousands by extreme heat. But and I it suppose, has George, George, let me come back in there. Yet. What about Tim's point that, in fact, we produce beef here, the farmers, you know, at a far sustainable level, maybe perhaps in a Brazilian beef farmer. So perhaps we should keep doing that for a while and push them out of business. At least the emissions are lower here. And secondly, I suppose, George, if you're a farmer and it's your livelihood and you have children, the reality is 
this is a harsh decision to expect them to give up their livelihood. No, it is a harsh decision, but we're not expecting people to give up their livelihood. Farmers um, who, who are keeping sheep and cattle are only stay in business because of farm subsidies. So what I want to see is the repurposing the repurposing of those subsidies to pay farmers to do something completely different. They would still receive the same money. In fact, they would do better than before because um, cattle and sheep are um, Okay, I'm going to let Tim come back in there, George. And they would be paid to restore ecosystems rather than continuing to, to destroy Tim, them. I think, look, we, down much of the we, we, need, already we, need, we need that hinted view. But look, Miriam, we acknowledge, we acknowledge what's happening in climate. We are playing our part. Okay. We're, we have done a lot Tim already Palmer. and willing to do a lot more. You're just not getting it. You're just not getting it. You're not rising to the extraordinary nature of this occasion. It's unprecedented. There's been nothing like it. We, humanity has never faced okay. such a crisis. George